In this lecture, we are going to look at another very important kind of visualization, the scatter plot. Of course, in order to have a scatter plot that actually looks like something, we're going to need some random data. So let's start by creating some random data from the standard normal with shape 100 by 2. So that's 100 observations and two dimensions. So we do x equals np.random.randn102. Now you might be wondering, why 100 by 2? This gives us 100 data points with dimensionality 2. We could have chosen 500 data points, but 100 is just fine. But the 2 is necessary. Remember that computer screens themselves are two-dimensional. And so in order to specify the x-coordinates and the y-coordinates, we have to have two dimensions, no more and no less. There are also three-dimensional scatter plots you could make, and we do have that in my other courses, but that would be outside the scope of this course. So in order to make a scatter plot, we call plt.scatter. So that's plt.scatter, and we're going to pass in x colon 0 okay, and x colon 1. Okay, so x colon 0 is the first column of x, and x colon 1 is the second column of x. And just to be clear, the first argument here corresponds to the horizontal axis, and the second argument corresponds to the vertical axis. So let's try this out. All right, so we get our scatter plot. Now in machine learning, often we're interested in classification or clustering, where we would like to draw scatter plots of data points with different colors, signifying the different classes. So let's see if we can make a scatter plot like that. First, we're going to generate some random data, again with dimensionality 2. So let's say x equals np random.randn202. Next, I would like half of this data to be centered at some different location. Remember that the randn function draws from the standard normal, so by default, all these points are currently centered at 0. So let's say I want the first half of these data points to be centered at 3, 3. To do that, I can just do x colon 50 plus equals 3. So the colon 50 means select all the rows from index 0 up to index 50, and a plus equals 3 means add a 3 to all the elements. Next, we're going to generate some labels. So let's start by creating an array of zeros of size 200. So that would be y equals np zeros 200. Next, we're going to set the first half of these labels to 1. This is so that all the points centered at 3, 3 have label 1, and all the other points will have label 0. We can accomplish that by doing y colon 50 equals 1. And finally, we can draw our scatter plot. So this is almost the same as before, except now we're going to also use the C argument and pass in Y. And obviously, C stands for color. So plt.scatter x colon 0, x colon 1, C equals Y. So sometimes it's hard to see your code because these things pop up to show you the API. And so the way this works is the thing you pass in for C should be a one-dimensional list or a one-dimensional array containing integers corresponding to how you want to color the data points. So let's run this. All right, and we get our colored scatter plot. 